Hi, this is Rainbow Unicorn Cat 1. As you know, I purchased all three Disney collector dolls from American Girl. And shocking enough, they all already arrived. In this video, I'm going to unbox Rapunzel for you. Tomorrow, I'll be unboxing Jasmine. And on Sunday, I'll be unboxing Belle. If this is something you'd like to see, definitely come back to my channel tomorrow and the day after. And by the way, if you're new to this channel and interested in all things American Girl but not subscribed, please do so. And turn on that notification bell so YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. I usually post every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but sometimes I post on other days as well. I always post the latest American Girl news and leaks. I also post crafts and unboxing. As you know, this Rapunzel retails at $300 on the American Girl website. And as far as I know, these dolls weren't sold in stores. The box on the left is how it was shipped to me. It's a nice and sturdy box. The cardboard is definitely thicker than your average American Girl shipping box, but what I didn't like was on the side it had a sticker that said it was a Rapunzel collector doll. If you're buying this as a surprise gift, I think this could spoil the surprise. As I'm opening this box, you can see everything's packaged really well. The corners are protected. They made sure that the corners of the collector box don't get damaged. You can see in the top and the bottom there's this packing foam thing. And the box itself is wrapped in packing tissue. So I'm going to give it an A plus for packing and shipping. Oh wow, she looks so good. Of course I had to open Rapunzel first because she's my favorite of the three. Although I do like all of them. Now look at this beautiful box. American Girl really put a lot of thought into it. I really would prefer for the boxes to be a different color. If you don't know, we also collect Disney limited edition dolls, and I love how they change the color for each character to reflect their personal colors. For example, Rapunzel would get purple and gold. I'm not the biggest fan of red here. Each of the three princesses got a slightly different box. You can see on the top of the box, there's a magic flower and the lanterns. Both of them play an important part in Rapunzel's story. I kind of like that. On the bottom of the box, it says Disney Princess Rapunzel Collector Series, and it also has this nice picture of Rapunzel. I'm definitely impressed with the box. And there's this nice picture of Rapunzel in the back of the box. Really beautiful. The lid comes off really easily. Um, you just need to pull it up and wait till the bottom part slides down. Wow, look how beautiful she looks. I think American Girl did a fantastic job on her. Look at the eyeliner. It's not a realistic eyeliner. It's kind of like fantasy makeup. And I also like that she got freckles. I don't think there's another Marie Grace face mold with freckles. Here, let's take a quick look at everything. So many details. American Girl did a really good job with this one as far as I can tell. Each doll comes with a certificate of authenticity and each doll has its unique number. This number is only present on the certificate. It's not printed on the doll itself, unlike some other collector doll lines do.
I believe she's the lightest skin tone. And I originally thought her eyes were gray like Molly's because that's how they looked on the website. But here's a picture of Rapunzel next to Marie Grace. Their eyes are almost identical. Rapunzel's eyes have a little more green and a little more gray in my opinion, but they still aren't really green like Rapunzel's in the movie. It's kind of a mix of blue, green, and gray. This is actually my biggest disappointment with this doll. Rapunzel's eyes are green, and if America Girl didn't want to use Felicity's green, they could have used Blair's more muted green, but she still looks very nice. She has these earrings with Swarovski crystals, and the earrings are removable. She has a hairnet to protect her hair. I'm just going to carefully remove it. Just look at that braid. I'm kind of really tempted to undo it. Let me know in the comments if this is something you'd like to see in my future videos. Now let's take a closer look at her wig. You can see that there are at least two different colors. Definitely gives it more dimension. It's like highlights. And look how many flowers she has in her braid. This particular doll is inspired by when Rapunzel goes to town. The hair's a little bit dry in the bottom, but it's not dry at all on the top. She really has a super sweet face. I really love that American Girl chose this face mold. Her necklace is really nice, but it is plastic, unfortunately. They should definitely have used metal to make it. I don't think it would have been more expensive. They already made a crown out of metal anyway. Now look at all the details on her dress. I just love it. I'm not super crazy about the fabric they used on the sleeves. It's kind of the fabric they used for the cheap 11 inch princesses. It feels cheap and stiff. You know what I'm talking about if you ever owned one. And I'm not impressed they use the same fabric for a collector doll that costs $300. For example, let me show you what a Disney limited edition Rapunzel hat for her sleeves. American Girl should have done the same. The bottom part of the sleeve is made out of mesh fabric. And it's a very standard mesh fabric. I love how the bodice has this embroidered fabric and the lacing is done very nicely. And the bottom of the bodice has a lot of Swarovski crystals. Some of the crystals are purple, and the other ones are called Aurora Borealis on the American Girl website. And some of them look pink to me. The skirt is also really beautiful. I love all the embroidery and the rhinestones. And the skirt is just one piece. I wasn't really disappointed by that fact, but I was really disappointed by the choice of fabric. It says taffeta on the website, but I'm not even sure if that's what it is. It really feels very cheap and stiff. It feels the same as the cheap 11 inch Disney princesses. Maybe I'm spoiled because my mom and I collect Disney Omen Edition dolls and they always use top notch fabric. They use silk, they use satin, they use velvet, and those fabrics feel very luxurious and upscale. The choice of fabric for Rapunzel's dress is very poor to me. I hope someone from American Girl is watching this video and when they make more dolls next year, I hope they consider using better quality fabrics. They did a really good job on the shoes, they look great, and I love how they have these sun accents. I give them an A for the shoes. And of course there's the American Girl logo attached to the skirt. Now let's take a look at the crown, and the crown is absolutely beautiful. This is probably the best part of this doll. The crown is metal which I'm really impressed with, and the rhinestones are purple or aurora borealis. 
which basically means it has all kinds of colors in it. It's very sparkly and it looks exactly like Rapunzel's crown did in the movie. I'm absolutely in love with this doll in spite of the poor fabric choices. One of the things they should have done is I think they should have added Pascal in it. And they should have added a small accessory or a companion to each of the limited edition dolls. For example, Jasmine could have had the lamp and Belle could have had a rose or a book. It's kind of a no brainer and I think it would have made these dolls better. Overall, I do like her, but I feel like for $300 we should have gotten better fabric. And I think the boxes should have a different color to reflect the character more. And also little accessories or sidekick characters to go with them. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the doll. I think I talked about everything, but if you have any more questions about her, I'll let you know the answer. Also, let me know in the comments if you got her or any other American Girl Collector dolls. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you enjoy all things American Girl but not yet subscribed, please do so. And turn on the notification bell so YouTube will let you know every time I post a new video. I usually post every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but sometimes I post on other days as well. I always post the latest American Girl news and leaks. I also post crafts and unboxing. Thanks for watching and see you next time!